Hi, Michael Bettine here. I've had a lot of people asking about my gong rack and my setup that I use for gong meditation sessions. So, here we're going to show the whole thing, me setting everything up and getting it ready. So I'm getting the Gibraltar racking out of my case. And first we take a foot and add a six inch piece of tube with an extension clamp in it. Into that goes a 36 inch tube with an extension clamp on top and a T-clamp right underneath. So that's the left side leg for the bottom of the rack. Now we put together the right side, six inch tube, and we'll add a 36 inch tube with a clamp and extension clamp on top of that. I use the six inch piece of tubing so that everything is compact enough to fit into the case and because I just like that little extra height in there. Now the bottom crossbar is going together. It's two 36 inch tubes with an extension clamp in the middle. that to the T-clamp on the left side and then the T-clamp on the right side. Tighten things up and we have the bottom section of the gong rack. I'm adding another 36 inch tube with a stacking clamp on top. That just goes into the extension clamp and there's the complete left side there. I'm putting together the top crossbar. Again, two 36 inch tubes with an extension clamp in the middle. And that will go into the stacking clamp on the left and then 36 inch tube with a stacking clamp for the right hand side. I like the Gibraltar stuff because it's very flexible. I can change the setup as I need it. And as you can see from this video, it all goes together very quickly. So here we go. Put the clamps together, tighten things down. the main section of the gong rack. Move it over, position it where I want it, and now I'll add the side extensions. First on the right, and that's a 24 inch tube into another stacking clamp. And then on the left, the same thing another 24 inch tube and stacking clamp. Tighten those down with a drum key and basically the rack is done. Now every time I play I tend to use different gongs and things so I usually need to adjust a few of the hanging clamps clamp to hold the Ogororo bell plates. So put the clamp on and now the crossbar for the Ogororo. Tighten that with a drum key and we are set and ready to start putting the gongs on. Hang the big mallets in now gong case number one.
First up is a 28 inch Jupiter Planet Gong. I'm not sure why I want to put that. So I'll hang it there for the moment. As you can see, it's not quite fitting right, so a little different setup than what I used previous week. And now a 32 inch symphonic gong. Widen the clamps a little bit. Actually, the week before I used just a single 36 inch crossbar in each position and had the 32 inch gong on top with the Jupiter on the bottom. bigger room today so I brought the full rack and some extra gongs. Gong case number two and we have a 24 inch Sound Creation water gong. is a 26 inch Sound Creation Prototype Sky Gong. Now the floor is carpeted so I don't mind laying it face down on the carpeting. And there is a 32 inch Sound Creation Earth Gong. Yes, normally I would place the gongs on top of a towel or a padded case but that is really nice carpeting so I not at all worried about scratches or anything like that happening. And on to case number three. Uh, not quite yet, I guess. As you can see, I slid the gong with my foot on the very, very soft carpeting. I certainly wouldn't do that on a hard floor. All right, I'm deciding. How do I want to set this up? So we move the Jupiter up to the side extension, but eventually I will swap places with the Jupiter and the water gong. A little more symmetrical and just the accessibility to the sounds I want at this particular session. So moving things around. Now from the third case, a 24 inch Venus planet gong. Adjusting the clamps for the water gong. Normally, I have been using three gongs on the bottom rack 20 inch, 22 inch, and 24 inch, and they all fit real well. I left the 20 inch at home and brought the 26 inch Sky Gong. So a little larger sizes and I'll only be able to get two gongs on the bottom. So a couple of twists, move the clamp in, check for how the gong is positioned and then tighten it down. Ironically, I'm getting this all set up for the water gong, and then I will move that later and have to readjust things slightly to fit the 
larger Jupiter gong. Now we finally get the sky gong situated. Move the clamp over. So the gong swings freely. And the 22 inch accent, which I will be using handheld because there's not enough room to hang it in the middle there. I use my stand case as a table, so I'm covering that with a soft black towel both to give a nice cushion for the singing bowls and to sort of camouflage the case. Right now I'm getting out my mallet selection. I've got some Mike Balter wind gong mallets and some cord wound vibe mallets and hard plain rubber mallets. And now I have a GM1 and a pair of Balter rollers. And I'm getting out some Balter Super Rub friction mallets, or Fumias, if you prefer. I like to use a wide selection of mallets because I like different tones, different sound textures. So I usually bring quite an array of mallets. I might not use all of them, but I have the option there. Now, getting into the case with the symbols and bell symbols. Next is a Tibetan bell, and then a Banpo Shang flat bell symbol. Some symbol mallets, and folding up a nice pad to put the Tibetan bell and the Shang symbol on. Organized. And now the Ogororo bell plates. As you can see, I'm using a lot of different types of instruments. I've got symphonic gongs, sound creation gongs, planet gongs, and an accent gong. So I've got a lot of different sound possibilities and textures there. I've got the Ogororo bell plates, which are very thick and bell-like. I have singing bowls, the Tibetan bell, the Banpo Shang, and then again all the different mallets to get different sound textures. So to me, it's a lot like being a painter and having a wide palette of colors and being able to mix those colors to create even more colors. And I often 
think of myself as painting with sound. So I like to have a lot of colors available. I might not use everything, but it's there. And if I feel the, feel the right vibe, I'll play it. Each session is different and, you know, I never know what will present itself as far as the vibes of the people or the room, so it's always an exploration. So I'll sort of pack up some of the cases and get those put away and that's it. Sixteen minutes to unpack and set up everything, get everything ready to go. So it's fairly quick. I'd like to thank you for checking this out. I hope you got something useful out of it. Please check out my website at gongtopia.com and thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.